Okay, gender. What? We girls. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Um, is I guess this next one's all about um, do we feel like we're often underestimated or undermined being you know girls out there as far as our riding or our mechanical abilities um, basically do you want 100 percent yeah of <laughs> course um, it's like anything uh, it, in a sport where it's male dominated it's going to be weird to see women out there doing it and I think a lot of people underestimate us um or undermine us like it says in the question um a lot of people tend to chime in on posts and you know people I don't want to get too far into this because we're just going to rip through this but yes we definitely get underestimated and undermined as women in the sport but the thing is that as a as a female rider, I don't think of it as well. I'm just a girl. I think of it as well. I'm I'm just a rider. I'm I'm just like any anyone else. I may have a slight disadvantage because of my size, but the only thing holding me back is just extra practice. Um, we can do anything on the bikes if we set our minds to it, and um, it's just a matter of attitude. You can't go into it thinking you're a lesser rider because of your gender. Um, because mm -hmm. that's not true. Um, anyone can do anything on a bike. Uh, look at Laya Sands. She's, she's incredible. She, she yeah. kicks the crap out of so many male riders out there. And um, mm. it's just, it's, it's your, your attitude, your energy, and your dedication. How much time are you willing to put in? And um, yeah. where do you see yourself ending up? If you see yourself always being second best, it's not your gender holding you back. It's your attitude. Um, so that's always kind of been my outlook. I, I've always just been right in there with the boys, whether it's um, riding or s snowboarding or whatever it is I'm doing. I'm an electrician, right? So I'm always kind of jumping into a male dominated everything. Um, but humans are humans. We're, we're all, we, we're all capable. Um, I just try to ignore the people who undermine me or, or, you know, try to give me extra help or whatever, act like I, I can't do it. I just, just ignore those people. Yeah. That's, I love that. I think that arm as well is that I think there are some, I, I don't want to say anything bad about any girls at all ever, but I definitely think there are some girls that don't necessarily help the rest of the girls out um like wearing high heels and thongs on motorbikes um i'm sure it looks awesome on a poster on the wall but it's not going to give you credibility as a rider uh, and i think i i mean i look at you and i hope that I, I i i'm seen in a similar way but we just get on with it and we ride we're not in it to try and look pretty or be like the girl doing it we're just out there having fun and enjoying it um uh, I think something that I always try to do is almost work extra hard to try and learn more so that I actually can join in and have a chat about the engine and understand some of the mechanics and almost earn a little bit more credibility and respect by putting that extra work in to not be the girl, if that even makes sense. I'm kind of blabbing a bit now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean... We need to get more girls out there. So if you're a girl and you're watching this, let's ride. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> we can do it. Girl power as the Spice Girls started. Love the Spice Girls. <laughs>